Welcome, I'm Dr. Janine Baring, naturopathic doctor, and today I'm discussing thyroid problems, and I have seven tips for hypothyroid. So when we're talking about thyroid function, we want to optimize it, and it's gotta be well-balanced. So we don't want it to be over-functioning, and certainly we don't want it to be under-functioning. I have another video that discusses some of the symptoms of hypothyroid, so make sure that you check that out. So let's get right to the tips. And make sure you stay tuned right until the end, which is my favorite tip on how to help your low thyroid. So tip number one is to get that morning sunlight in your eyes, especially on your skin. It's really important to connect with those healing rays of the sun, to open up our eyes, looking at that sunrise, to really ensure that we're turning on our brain and all of that chemistry that needs to happen throughout the day. This actually helps with our sleep, but also helps with our metabolism and regulating our thyroid gland. Also in the morning, one of the great things to do is to get grounded. So having your feet on the earth, connecting with those electrons from the earth is really, really important for helping your thyroid gland as well. And of course, in the middle of the day, getting that natural sunlight is important so that we're activating our vitamin D on our skin and the production of our vitamin D, which is important for our thyroid function and our metabolism as well. So tip number two is to decrease your stress. And we want to have proper vagal tone. What that means is that our vagus nerve, our 10th and largest cranial nerve of the body is connected to our internal organs and is always giving messages back up to our brain as to the state that we're in. So hopefully that's a healthy state. But one of the things to make sure that we are nice and relaxed and we're going into that parasympathetic relaxed state of our nervous system is to actually do a breathing exercise to help with the vagus nerve. So that I have in another video. Another thing that you can do is an ice face dunk. So if you missed this, this is is something that I covered in the video called six daily habits to prevent depression during stressful times and it was the part two video so make sure you check that out and I show you exactly how to do that ice face dunk which is a game changer I'm telling you it's incredible for helping your vagus nerve but for helping your thyroid as well tip number three is to decrease your EMF exposure so I actually purchased an EMF reader and I use this and it's a great tool in my own home to really show you know where I'm getting those EMF exposures and also at the office and this thing will you know as I get closer to different you know electronic devices my cell phone my computer anything basically that's plugged in I can get a reading and it sort of it goes off and red and it's all scary and but it really was something that gave me a lot of information even at my my work desk at my office that I was getting EMF exposure that I wasn't even aware of so I was able to move things around to decrease my exposure which is really important for your thyroid health also one of the things that you can do is put your phone on airplane mode so when you're not needing your cell phone signal when you can use Wi-Fi calling that's a little bit better in terms of you know getting that EMF exposure Tip number four is to decrease your artificial light exposure, especially toxic blue light. So again, from our cell phones, from our iPads, our tablets, from our TV screens, and research has shown that unfortunately, that artificial light exposure, especially at night, has an increased risk for thyroid cancer. And this is a fairly recent study that was done. So we really have to try to turn our lights off, especially after the sun has gone down at sunset, and have natural light. So whether that's by fire, candles in the house, in my own home, I'm constantly turning off the lights, especially when it's dark outside, to decrease that artificial light exposure. Another thing you can do is you can purchase blue light blocking glasses, which is great, especially as the day goes on, to block, especially from your devices and your cell phone and your computer screen, to block that blue light radiation. You don't want to be stimulating your melanopsin, which is that blue light receptor that helps with our melatonin later at night for sleep. You don't wanna be doing that throughout the entire day, especially as the day gets later and later when we're supposed to be in that dark environment. So it's really important that you are able to block that blue light as much as possible. Tip number five is to fix the gut. We know that leaky gut syndrome and autoimmunity, which is sometimes related to thyroid, 
is also a big problem. So fixing that leaky gut is important in terms of decreasing that overall inflammation in the body and decreasing that autoimmunity as it could be related to hypothyroid as well. Tip number six is to do a full body detox and especially a liver detox. So, you know, focusing in on getting those toxins out of those internal organs is really important. And I do recommend a full body detox at least a few times a year. So we'll share some links below as to a great full body detox, but also the liver is important. And why is that? Well, it's the liver that converts our active hormone. So our T4 into our T3 active hormone for the thyroid, which is really important for proper thyroid function and our metabolism and being able to maintain a healthy body weight. So that's really important to keep our liver healthy and of course to do it naturally. And tip number seven, which is my favorite, is a cold hydrotherapy treatment to the thyroid gland. So this is something that I have in another video, so we'll put the link below. And all you're doing basically is you're shuttling back between hot and cold compresses on the thyroid gland, and you're doing that to really set up that pumping action of the blood, really stimulating the gland, especially good for when the gland is under functioning. And again, completely natural doesn't cost anything and a great way to stimulate for especially for hypothyroidism especially if you have the symptoms so check out my other video with all the symptoms of low thyroid if you're not sure if your thyroid may be underactive and you know in that video I share some things that you probably haven't heard that the symptoms are related to that under functioning thyroid so I hope that you learned something new make sure that you try the tips in today's video to really set yourself on the path of having a healthier thyroid function be sure to share this video. Give me a big thumbs up. I truly appreciate it. So you may have some questions based on what I discussed today. I encourage you also to try the tips that I shared in today's video and leave your comments below. I'd love to hear how you're doing with maybe tweaking some of the things in your environment and in your life to be able to help your low thyroid. Also be sure to share this video with your friends and or with someone who you know will truly benefit from the information. Give me a big thumbs up. I really, really appreciate appreciate all of your positive feedback. And if you're new here, make sure that you're subscribed to my channel so that you always get my newest and latest uploads. Click that bell by turning on those notifications. Just click all notifications so you get my newest and latest uploads. And we're uploading multiple videos every single day. Remember to always take care of your good health and to do it naturally. Thanks for watching.